outcome of tonight's competition. But first, it's my great delight to introduce you to the director of this evening's presentation, Britain's leading exponent of the work of Stephen Sondheim, the most accomplished stage actress, a television star, and the last time we two met was on cart horses in Ireland. <laughs> Needless to say, she won. <laughs> I ask myself, <laughs> is there no end to the talents of Miss Julia McKenzie? Og Peter Justinov fra nu af sin sangs af denne forestillings instruktør, som altså hedder Julia McKenzie. I didn't think you were going to mention the cart horses, Peter. I can keep it secret no longer. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the next part of the evening, uh, you will be asked to, uh, invited rather, to, uh, to put yourself in the position of members of the grand jury. Now, you are about to see three excerpts from the shortlisted musicals, and here, imagination will need to come into play because you will be asked to transport yourself from 17th century France via the backstage shadows of an Edwardian theatre to the Scottish Highlands of 200 years ago. And on your travels, we would urge you to ask yourselves, do I like this music? Do I appreciate these lyrics? Uh, do these two elements combine to tell the story in a gripping or humorous way? And most important, does it all come together to make a good evening in the theatre? And by the way, while you're doing all this, please don't forget to have a really good time. <laughs> oh yes, I knew there was something I'd forgotten. Uh... <laughs> so our first finalist from the classic novel by Alexander Dumas, the Three Musketeers. And during the overture, why don't we peep in on the rehearsal room and see how the pieces are put into place. Ja, nu kan de lande den tilbage og bedømme resultatet. Den første musical er skrevet på baggrund af Alexander Dumas' herlige fortælling om de tre musketerer. Det handler altså om troskab og ære, om kamp og kærlighed, om liv og død. og begiver sig til Paris og ind i vores sal for at udfordre skæbnen og de tre musketerer hvis du laster præst en for alle og alle for en de tre musketerer
Riding to Paris to join the king's garrison there Scenting the lure of romance and amour in the air To seek far-flung adventure In service to the crown What mocking tongue could quench a heart burning so brightly For chivalry, valor and endless renown Girl so exquisite, you'll ask yourself, is it a dream? Whoa, it's practically criminal how fair the women will see. The dash I'll cut in Paris will set their hearts afire. Where else but in Paris are women so lovely? In Paris is all that a man could desire. I don't suppose we can expect manners from a country bumpkin. I don't need any lessons in manners from you. If I wasn't in such a hurry... I have all the time in the world, monsieur. Until tomorrow. Where shall I find you? Behind the Luxembourg. The Luxembourg? A quiet garden where I can further your education. At what time? Shall we say eight? Yes, eight is fine. Then it's a date. The pleasure's mine. Though you'll permit, I'm bound to ask, will you be fit for such a task? For such as you, I've no great need of being any more fit. At eight, your life is forfeit. <laughs> 